All right, welcome back. So, on this particular trail, we are going to discuss about introduction to reports and dashboards in Lightning Experience. So, what are reports and dashboards? We've talked a bit about that before on the previous trail, and then we have prepared some data to to create reports and dashboards on the next trail. So what are reports and dashboards? Like we've discussed before, reports and dashboards are answers. So it's a tool to help you or anyone you are helping to answer their questions or your question. For example, in a school, the principal would like to know how many teachers are there in the whole school. So you can use a report to answer that. And then the teachers wants to know how many students am I going to be teaching this year? What are their names? And where do they live? How many are boys? How many are girls? And so on and so forth. And then during the school year, they would like to know how many are doing great? How many need more help? A little bit of push, a little bit of attention. How many um, requires a parent-teacher meeting? Maybe the teacher needs to talk with the parent and so on and so forth, right? So any kind of organization or um, anyone who's using Salesforce will want to have answers. Um, and this, this uh, dashboard and reports will help uh, provide answers. So a report is an answer. So like the illustration I just gave. So what about a dashboard? Well, a dashboard is like a collection of answer. So like a car dashboard. Let me pull up uh, Google here. If I pull up car dashboard <coughs> image. So this is a car dashboard. Um, you've seen a car, right? Let's choose this guy here, this one. So on here, this is the RPM. So how fast the engine or the motor are running at that very second. And then this is the speed, how fast the car is running. This is in miles per hour. This is uh, in kilo uh, kilometer per hour. And this is the fuel tank. Is it, fuel, is, is it full? Is it half full or is it going to be empty? If it's empty, oh, you know what to do next, right? If you're driving a car or your mom and dad is driving a car and then the fuel tank is going low, well, you have to fill up more gas into the car. If you're driving an electric car and the fuel or the battery is almost going out, well, you have to prepare to recharge the car. So that information is helpful for you to prepare or to plan the next steps, right? So for example, you are running a store and you are selling cookies right and then your chocolate cookies is selling more than your peanut cookies so if your chocolate cookies is running more running more selling more than your choc uh, than your peanut cookies then you would like to make more chocolate cookies because they make you more money and therefore they sell better and 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 help you more so you would want to do or plan to make more chocolate cookies right that uh, that makes sense right so that is a dashboard is a collection of information so it's gathered in one place so you can see it in one glance right a report is just a particular information just one answer like for example the teacher would like to know who's in my class today or the principal wants to know of all 20 classes in the school, how many students are not coming to school this day? And he can see from a report, oh, there is 15 students that are absent, not coming in today. So the principal knows and so on and so forth. Now, we have talked about report and dashboard. What about report type? The report type defines what 
are we going to report on? Like it says, it's a, it's a template. It's like a template. For example, you want to report on your cookies, right? That's a, that's a template, a report template or a report type of cookies. How many are selling? What flavor are selling more? Another report type, for example, is the student report type, right? How many students are from this neighborhood? How many students are from that neighborhood? Um, and so on and so forth. That's a report type. The type of report we are reporting, right? It's, it's related to an object, which object you are reporting. And or it can be related to an object related to another object as well. Okay, we will see all about that in the demo or in the next trail where we actually play around with the reports and the dashboard. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So a report, a dashboard, a collection of information, and then a report type. Okay, so that's the the overview the abstract level and we will actually going to play around with with report so you will understand way better so let's do the quiz now a dashboard is a list of records that meet your that meet the criteria you define i think this is a report so a visual display of key metrics and trends yeah this is the one it's mentioned in the trail if you read it all so okay this incorrect this is incorrect a report type determines the template right a report type are you reporting on a cookie a student pets or anything so a report type the template determines which fields and records are available for use when creating a report yep this is the right one who can access the report no the, the date range no the colors no so that's the answer and let's check the quiz there we go. So I'll see you in the next trail.